entirety of our subfleet to the entirety of the Russian subfleet, there's sort of a weird thing where we build quieter, better nuclear subs than they do, but they have a lot of diesel electric subs that are naturally quieter with mm. limited range and capability. Hmm. But uh, they also sell a lot of those subs to China and Iran and India, whoever whoever fucking wants a kilo class. But uh, the Virginia class is all our tax dollars at work. And out of all the things I just whined about, <laughs> Virginia class is nowhere near as much of a waste of money as all this other shit. Mm. Like, they've, they've done a really good job in a lot of respects of having a, a holistic approach to an attack sub. It's not perfect, but it's much better than a, an, a Los Angeles class. And for the roles it was intended, it's better than a Seawolf class, which was, at the time, the state of the art. And I think we have two Seawolf classes still in service. There was only ever three, but I think one is just for parts. And one of them just hit an under, underwater mountain in the South China Sea and <laughs> got sent to Guam. Uh, what the fuck is this mountain doing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's how, actually a, a subject of major that, how, is that, how is that even fucking possible? There's a couple reasons it's possible. Um, they well, they uh, paying sonar? Uh, the, well, they, so, so when, you, when you drive around underwater with even high-frequency active sonar looking for things, you're, you're detectable. So generally, you rely on charts for safe areas of passage. The Chinese have literally been sinking these three-story tall H-shaped concrete blocks off of ships trying to make, like, barricades. Because the South China oh. Sea is very, very different depths. Sometimes it's really deep. Sometimes it's super shallow, like 600 feet shallow. And so they just start stacking these fucking things, trying to make obstacles, knowing that uh, gotcha. passages they literally are yeah, past um, so who knows no, neither side will admit to anything like that being the cause of their fuck up but that's one possibility another thing is in the, in the 90s the USS San, San Francisco ran into a mountain and I think it was just volcanic change like oh, a man. mountain grew in the South Pacific <laughs> in like three months or whatever that, that makes tectonic sense. plates shifted and Shit pushed up, and all of a sudden there was a hill there that there wasn't last year, you know? 